All right, we're going to be talking about Elamir of the Briar. Ooh. Let's go. So, like Vati mentioned in his video, when we encounter Elamir, he seized control of the Shaded Castle, wielding the sword of his very own executioner, Malay Marias, after Marias' defeat. We can track his path of slaughter after his escape via black phantom invasions near merchants and instructors you can find in Limgrave, Liernia, Leandel, and Caled, respectively. While he primarily drops merchant bell bearings, item descriptions also state that he targets instructors as well, which would explain why he also spawns in the Church of Vows or in the Warmaster's Shack, presumably to hunt Muriel and Bernal. But what are bell bearings, and why does Elamir want them? Bell bearings are likely referring to the clapper inside of the bell which makes the bell ring. Bell metal is an alloy used for making bells and related instruments, such as cymbals. It is a form of bronze with a higher tin content. The higher the tin content is, the greater the rigidity and the resonance of the bell. Today, bell metal has industrial use in creating valve bodies, piston rings, bearings, and bushings, which may be where the term bell bearing comes from. But just to keep it simple, it's a clapper or bell metal or bearing metal that is allowing the bell to resonate in a special way. In Miyazaki games, bells are used to summon spirits and in Bloodborne, it's actually used to summon other players or NPCs with different sounds signifying different intentions. In real world history, Tibetan handbells possess the power to communicate with the underworld since a magic handbell is used in rituals to summon the spirits of the dead. The Tibetan handbell is constructed from an alloy of tin, iron, gold, copper, and quicksilver. It is likely that Elamir is using these bell bearings to gain access to the spells and items of merchants or instructors the same way that we do at the Twin Maiden Husks. They allow us to communicate either with NPCs in different worlds or perhaps communicate with their spiritual inventories, if that makes sense. The reason why he may be searching these bell bearings in particular is because the Eokide have ascetic isolationist beliefs in which they don't like to interface or talk with others because it could potentially affect them spiritually. I find that metal resonance of bells in the Souls games lends itself very nicely to the themes of alloys, tarnished metals, and unalloyed metals having to do with spirituality in the Elden Ring setting. So thank you. Goodbye!